Welcome UHS hardware fans. We're going to be doing another video today on the KD KDX2 remote generator and cloning tool. Uh, today we're going to be specifically looking at the remote generating capabilities of the device and we're going to look to generate a smart key for a 2017 Chevrolet Cruze. Hopefully we won't need these keys. So we're going to be using a universal remote. This remote does not come with a battery so it requires a battery. This particular battery uses a CR2032 3 volt lithium battery, which can be found on our website, uhs-hardware.com. So we're simply just going to go and replace the battery like so, positive side down, and close it back up. In order to generate a universal smart key, we need to know the FCC ID and frequency of the remote we want to generate it to. To find out the FCC ID and frequency, we're going to go to uhs-hardware.com. Click on the menu so that you can search by vehicle. Again, we're looking for a Chevrolet Cruze from 2017. Okay, perfect. So once we go down here, I'm going to find the correct key that corresponds with this Chevrolet Cruze. I'm going to pick this uh, five button smart key that we found from Keyless Factory. And we're going to scroll down and look for two key numbers here, which is the FCC ID and then the frequency. When you're generating your new remote, you always need to make sure that the FCC ID and the frequency match to make sure that you're going to have success. Another super easy way to check frequency if you have the keys available to you is to go ahead and get your KDX2, click this button here on the right, put the keys into the coil, and click any button, and you'll get your frequency. Now in order to start generating the universal smart key, we're going to use our mobile KD app. And of course it's very important that we match up the frequency and the FCC ID. Once we open the mobile KD app, we're going to go to remote function, smart key remote, and we're going to go ahead and paste that FCC ID in. Now you could of course search here once again by make, model, and year. I'm just making life a little easier and making sure we find the correct key. All right, now you can see Chevrolet Cruise pops up right away for me and we're ready to generate this remote. So now what we're gonna do is place the universal remote into the KDX2 and we're gonna hit generate. Another menu pops up and of course we're gonna hit wireless generation. And it's gonna give us a progress bar that lets us know exactly how long until this is done. Now that the remote generation is complete, we can take this outside, go program it to the vehicle and make sure that it works. So the programmer we're going to be using for this one is the Top Don T Ninja 1000. There's lots of great programmers out there and we will have other videos that go into the specifics of this machine. So at the main menu, we're going to go to the immobilizer. Terms and conditions will pop up. We just hit OK, OK. Then we're going to search for the make, model, and year of the vehicle, starting with the region of the vehicle manufacturer. So now we're going to follow the on-screen prompts and enter the pin. It's been verified. And now we're going to start configuring the system and seeing if we have success. All right, now the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing turns on. Okay, we have a good start. Lock and unlock buttons seem to be working normally. And our trunk button is working perfectly fine as well. All right, so we've successfully generated a remote for the vehicle using the KDX2, and we've programmed it to the vehicle using the Top Don T Ninja 1000. Make sure to check out our other videos on the KD system so you can learn all about its other functions, as well as our series on the Top Don T Ninja 1000 so you can begin using this piece of equipment as well. 